Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Saturday, October 18th, around 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Record-breaking fountaining overnight at Kilauea, and we live-streamed it over on Rumble. So go check it out. We also have a minor G2 geomagnetic storm we've been experiencing. So buckle up, buttercup, and keep calm. It's boom time. We've got the central U.S. states under severe thunderstorm watch tonight. At least four states are under tornado watch Saturday. We've got portions of southwest Arkansas, northwest Louisiana, southeast Oklahoma, and northeast Texas under severe storm watch until 9 p.m. central time, according to the National Weather Service. A quick look at Tornado HQ shows two, well now three, severe weather warnings Texas and Oklahoma. We've got Greg, Panola, Rusk counties in Texas, McClintosh, Muskegee, and Okamulgee in Oklahoma. So heed the warnings. And a massive front is moving east uh, from Lake Michigan all the way down to Baton Rouge. And behind it is a cold front, and there'll be frost and freeze warnings tonight. There they are. And now the full forecast. We are tracking a storm system across the eastern U.S. The storm system will continue to produce widespread showers and thunderstorms as it progresses eastward across the central U.S. into the northeast and through the weekend. There are risks of severe thunderstorms and excessive rainfall on Saturday from the Ozarks into the mid-Mississippi River Valley with potential for damaging winds, large hail, tornadoes, and flash flooding. You can see the center of that activity right here. Behind the front, cold air, and we've got hard freeze and frost warnings out for Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, North Texas, and North Dakota. Say it ain't soda, but it is. And there is that line of storms on the GFS model, and moving into the Pacific Northwest, an atmospheric river will dump heavy snow in B.C., as well as the high elevations of Idaho, Montana, and Washington State and Idaho. As that system moves east here by Monday and Tuesday, pretty much out of the picture, there is that atmospheric river bombing out over the Great Lakes region, and then another system moves into the Pacific Northwest late next week. And that's going to be a lot of snow for the Northern Rockies through the end of October. Let's Oh, and we do have a tropical system showing up on the GFS here, a pretty big storm. Look at that. Holy macaroni. Well, that's going to be very interesting for the very beginning of November there. That is a massive tropical storm there. Massive. Well, it's a hurricane here. Let's take a look at the total snowfall because it is getting towards winter and Al Gore is not going to be happy. Here is snow through Monday morning. You can see a bullseye there up in the Olympics. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Saturday, Sunday, Monday... More snow for the Northern Rockies, and the models are looking great for the ski resorts. Well, everywhere, but the Northeast and the Sierras. Seismic update. No quakes of note. We've got some more rumbling on the Kamchatka with a 5.1 in Kamchatsky. Overall, very low-level activity worldwide. An interesting outlier, 4.5 in Poland, of all places. And we've got a quake here in Poth, Texas. Could be... Frack related. Kilauea produces record breaking lava fountains in episode 35. After a couple of days of bubbling and overflows, lava fountaining began spewing from the north vent at Halemauamua crater at about 8.05 Friday, according to the USGS. That was followed by fountains from the south vent which began at 8.50 p.m. and grew rapidly, with lava from both vents feeding large flows to the crater floor. At 10.11 p.m., USGS reported record high fountains for this eruption at nearly 1,500 feet. This marked the highest single fountain and highest pair of fountains seen during all 35 episodes. And we live-streamed it over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble, so you can go check it out there. You can also check out the live stream on X. It was insane. Well, you can see. It's, it's absolutely insane. 1,500 feet lava fountains. Well, it doesn't get much better than that, now does it? So go check out the videos. 
We would appreciate the support at Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave. And that brings us to Worldwide Volcano News. Ibu, first on the list, 6,000 foot Nevada de Ruiz Volcanic Ash Advisory. New volcanic ash from Raventador. Semeru, who knew now you do 14,000 foot blast today. Fuego to 14,000 as well. Santa Guito to 14,000. And the 35th lava fountaining episode is over. Johnny. Kill away at a 16,000. Swanosima! 6,000 foot blast there. Semeru to 14,000 feet. Fuego, continuous volcanic ash likely. Ibu to 6,000. Santa Guito ash there. Sun Gay to 20,000 feet. And Swanosima, 7,000 foot blast. Wrapping up the list is Semeru. Who knew? Now you do 14,000 foot puff there. And what a spectacular eruption indeed. Make sure you head over to Rumble, Oppenheimer Ranch Project, and watch the replay or over at Diamond the Dave on X. And we are currently in, well, we were in G2 geomagnetic storm. Now we've dropped down to KP4. Take a quick look at telemetry and see what happened. Well, the BZ shifted south hard, and that's why we went to KP6. It's now moderating. So keep a close eye on this. If red goes back south, we'll go back into geomagnetic storm tonight. Telemetry showing plasma speed only at 500 kilometers per second. So nothing spectacular. And a moderate chance of aurora up in the northern latitudes. Join us 8 p.m. Mountain Time over at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble for our science show, Science Without Consensus. Leah and I will go over the South Atlantic anomaly growing rapidly, and you'll want to be there to expand your knowledge. And at 9 p.m. Mountain Time on Magnetic Reversal News on YouTube, the eight oldest artifacts ever discovered. Another episode of Science Without Consensus. We would appreciate your support on both of those channels at 8 p.m. Mountain Time and 9 p.m. Mountain Time, respectively. And that is a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, share this video, do all those YouTube things. But most important thing you can do is subscribe to the channel and support the work we do. We're trying to get to 100,000 subs by the end of the year. And if everyone that's not watching subscribes, we'll get there. We'll see you at 8 p.m. over at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble for the first episode and 9 p.m. at Magnetic Reversal News on YouTube. Be safe. We love you. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.